Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. In the last video, I had explained the synopsis of chemical equilibrium. In this video, we shall solve some problems in chemical equilibrium. Question number one. For the equilibrium given reaction, equilibrium constant Kp. Now they are given Kp. In the options, we also have got Kc, correct? In all the options, there is a Kc. What is the relation between Kp and Kc? We have Kp is equal to Kc into Rt to the power delta n, correct? Let us first calculate delta n for the reaction. How to calculate delta n? Delta n is equal to number of moles of the product minus number of moles of the reactant only for gaseous reactants and the products. Okay? So, therefore, delta n is equal to number of moles of the product. How many moles of the products are there? Gaseous state, two moles are there, two, right? Minus number of moles of the reactant gases, one mole of the nitrogen gas, three moles of the hydrogen gas. So, it is a one plus three is equal to four. Therefore, it is a minus two. Therefore, I should write down Kp is equal to Kc into Rt to the power minus two, okay? This option is not there. We can change it. We can convert minus 2 into plus 2 by Kc divided by Rt to the power 2. We can also write like this. Correct? So, what is the answer? Answer is the first option here. Clear? Right? Question number 2. In a reversible reaction, catalyst will affect. Now, what is the use of the catalyst? Catalyst is used to increase the rate of the reaction. But in case of reversible the reaction, there is a forward reaction, there is a forward backward reaction. Therefore, catalyst will increase the rate of the forward reaction as well as the backward reaction. So, therefore, answer is option number A. Okay. Question number three. The rate of forward reaction is two times the reverse reaction at a given temperature and identical concentration. Therefore, K equilibrium is K C you have to find out. So, we can write uh, equilibrium constant K in terms of rate of the forward reaction divided by rate of the backward reaction. Or also we can write the equilibrium constant is also equal to rate constant K for the forward reaction divided by rate constant K for the reverse reaction or the backward reaction. In the given question, rate of forward reaction is equal to 2 times the rate of the reverse reaction or the backward reaction. So, I can write rate of the forward reaction divided by rate of the backward reaction is equal to 2. Therefore, when I substitute in this one, K is equal to this ratio, okay, is equal to 2, clear? So, the answer is option number 2, okay? About this rate of the forward, okay, then the rate constant and all. We will study the chemical kinetics in class 12. Clear? Question number 4. Chemical equilibrium of a reversible reaction is not influenced by. Okay? Now, when increase the pressure, decrease the pressure, reaction can go in the forward and the backward reaction. Okay? Concentration, increase the concentration of the reaction, it can go to the product side. Temperature can increase the rate of the reaction or it can also lead to the forward reaction, backward reaction. Okay. So, the catalyst one is remaining. Catalyst one which will increase the rate of the forward reaction as well as the backward reaction to the same extent. So, there is no change in the position of the chemical equilibrium. So, catalyst will not be, okay, affecting the chemical equilibrium position. Therefore, answer is option number two. Question number 5. Equilibrium constant K1 and K2 are given for two reactions, A and B reaction. Then we have to write the relation between K1 and K2. Let me write the first equation. NO reacts with the half mole of the O2. It is in equilibrium with the NO2. Correct? For this, uh, equilibrium constant is uh, K1. Clear? Now, second equation. 2NO2 gives 2NO plus O2. For this, uh, K2 is the equilibrium constant. Now, I write down K1 and K2 relationship. Here. Now, this reaction is a reversed here. Correct? First reaction is reversed to get a second reaction. That means a NO2 comes here. Right? And NO and O2 comes other side. Don't see the number of moles. Number of moles are changed. Correct? Right? So, K2 is equal to 
second equation obtained was the first equation by reversing the equation. When you reverse the equation, it becomes the reciprocal of the first equilibrium constant K1. After that, see which number they have multiplied. So it is a one year, one by two year, it is a one year. Now after reversing, which number they have multiplied? If you multiply the entire equation by two, we will get this equation, correct? So multiply by two, multiply by two and multiply by two into half, one it is, correct? So number is multiplied. So number multiplied become the always the power, okay? So power, so we have to square it, clear? Square it. Either this one or k1 square also equal to 1 by k2. So you have to find out the exact answer now. So what is the option number? Option number is the third one, clear? Third one is the answer, right? Question number four, equilibrium constant for the reaction given. This is the value, equilibrium constant k, okay? at the temperature 2000 Kelvin. Now the presence of the catalyst, the equilibrium is attained 10 times faster. The equilibrium constant in the presence of the catalyst at 2000 Kelvin is. Here, temperature remains the same. When temperature remains the same, equilibrium constant also remains the same. Remember, equilibrium constant depends only on the temperature. When the temperature changes, equilibrium constant also changes. But they are given now catalyst. Catalyst will increase the rate of the forward reaction and backward reaction to the same extent. But equilibrium is attained in much faster rate. But that will not affect the value of the equilibrium constant. Therefore, answer is option number D. Okay, fourth one is the answer. The value will not be changed in the presence of the catalyst. The value can change when the temperature changes. Otherwise, it remains the same. Right? Okay. Question number seven, the reaction quotient QC is useful in predicting direction of the reaction. Which of the following is incorrect? Incorrect, you have to find out. So you've got equilibrium constant KC and the reaction constant QC. Okay, when QC is equal to KC, then that system is at equilibrium state. So it is at equilibrium state. Suppose QC is greater than KC, then we expect a backward reaction favored. Backward reaction is favored. When QC is smaller than KC, then we expect a forward reaction to be favored. Okay. So all this is covered in the synopsis part in the previous video. If you are not watched this video, please do watch. Okay. Clear? So what is the answer now? Answer is uh, option number three. Correct? They are given QC greater than KC. So they are given forward reaction. Actually, it is a backward reaction is favored. So you have to find out the incorrect statement. Yeah. Question number eight. The relationship between KP KC is related. You know this formula, correct? What will be the value of delta N for this reaction? How to calculate delta N for the reaction? Delta N is equal to number of moles of the product minus number of moles of the reactant only for gaseous substances. Remember. Okay. So is equal to see here products are gases. Both are gases. So 1 mole plus 1 mole. So 1 plus 1. 2 moles of the react products altogether. Minus. Reactant. See the reactant physical state. Solid. So it is not counted. So 0 is equal to 2 here. So delta N is equal to 2. Right. So answer is option number 2. Clear? Question number 9. For the reaction. Okay. Reaction given. They are given minus Q kilo joule. That means heat is absorbed. It is the endothermic reaction. Absorbed. Okay. Equilibrium constant depends upon, remember student, equilibrium constant depends only on temperature, no other factor. Clear? So answer is option number 3. Question number 10. Quantity of PCL5 was heated in 10 dm cube a vessel. Remember volume is equal to 10 dm cube. Okay, an important top uh, parameter. PCL5 gives PCL3 and chlorine, all our gases. At equilibrium vessel contain 0.1 mole of PCL5 and 0.2 mole of Cl2. Okay, let me write the equation. PCL5 will give PCL3 and chlorine Cl2. At equilibrium, at equilibrium they are given 0.1 mole of the PCL5, correct? Then they are given 0.2 mole of the chlorine. 0.2 mole of the chlorine. What about this one? See, okay, at equilibrium, at the end, okay? So, 0.1 mole of the PCL5 remain, then the product form should be in the ratio of 1 is to 1, correct? After the reaction, after retaining equilibrium, 1 is to 1, that means PCL3 also 0.2 moles, okay? So, 
products are in the ratio of 1 is to 1, therefore it should be 0.2 is to 0.2. Clear? Now how to write down the equilibrium constant? Equilibrium constant Kc is equal to product concentration, PCl3 concentration into Cl2 concentration divided by reactant. What is the reactant? PCl5. Now what is square bracket? Square bracket represent concentration term. What do you mean by concentration? Number of moles per liter. But how many liters are there? 10 dm cube. 10 dm cube means 10 liters are present. So you have to write on PCl3 concentration is equal to number of moles. What is the number of moles? 0.2 number of moles divided by volume of the vessel in terms of liter, 10 liter. So it is a 0 0.02. Correct? Right? Similarly, you have to calculate for PCl2 chlorine concentration is equal to 0.2 moles only divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.02. Similarly, we have got PCL5 concentration which is equal to number of moles of H 0.1 divided by volume of the 10 liter is equal to 0 0.01. So, come back and substitute Kc is equal to PCL3. What is the PCL3 concentration? 0 0.02 into Cl2 concentration equal to 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.01. Clear? Carefully solve this one. Okay? So, this is a 0 0.01 once this is a two times so 0 0.02 into 2 becomes 0 0.04 answer correct clear so this answer exists which option number option number is a two clear students okay so remember concentration is nothing but concentration is nothing but it is the number of moles divided by volume of the solution or volume of the gases in terms of liters okay nothing but the molarity concept it is a molarity clear right Students, please like the videos, share the videos and do subscribe RD Chemistry. Also write down the comments. Thank you for watching.